season at Pucci, it's still our Pucci girl, but not as obvious, I guess, in a way as we've done before. Very matte skin, not pale as such, but then we've cheated by drawing little freckles across the nose and round on the cheeks, but very delicately. It, lots and lots of black pencil in the lash line at the top, so it's really, there's no flesh left in there. Mascara, false eyelashes, more mascara, and the lips are kind of sculpted in using uh, oak and cork, which are two kind of beigey lip pencils. There's something very sort of 60s about it, but not to get too nostalgic, not to turn into something theatrical. Up. It's very 60s, uh, great eyelashes, it's strong. I love that look. It's so 60s and beautiful and the hair like a little wavy with the bang. I think it's really nice. I love it. I thought that it was very important to give something not retro, but uh, something that actually is everyday life. The girls with the long fringe, the cooler cut. It's almost like the 70s Sarita Pallenberg, uh, very unfaithful uh, um, kind of uh, type of hair. It's like all the girls that look, uh, I think, amazing. It's like naturally beautiful and they express that sense of coolness with the fringe and youth. Thing since I was like six years old. This is so strange for me. I like my bangs. I've always asked Luigi to give me bangs whenever we do something and it turns out not giving me bangs or he did it once. Once. And I'm like finally. I mean it's beautiful hair. I might keep it. <laughs> Stealing it. Put it in my purse. <laughs> I love my first outfit. It's first three girls who have almost the same look and we're like whoop, whoop, whoop. so we're like giving the feeling of the collection. I didn't try to reference it literally. It was really more thinking about like the Pucci girl today and what she was into right now, which was a short love, demure but naughty attitude and uh, it kind of became a 60s silhouette and also because I was like, I suppose I was a bit inspired by biographies that I was reading of Keith Richards and of Rod Stewart and their girlfriends. But it was really about today's Pucci girl, you know. We went for the fitting, he tried something on me, then called me back and was like, I don't think that's your personality and then they fitted me with something else and I'm like, now you're talking. <laughs> Oh my God, the boots were to die for. Who wouldn't want to wear a pair of thigh-high boots with a um, tailored short and a sequin little top and a fabulous fitting blazer? I mean, the girls looked amazing. It was very, 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 very short, but I like, hey, it's a change of character, change of scenery. Always good. My first look is a dress with a very high neck, tarsal neck with a flap on the top and uh, you have like those very uh, pop and colorful uh, prints. You could have seen Brigitte Bardot in those dresses in Saint-Tropez. It was nice to see Peter bringing the Pucci print back into the collection. The original colorways from the 60s and incorporating that into a much more modern and um, directional look for 2013. I think he was experimenting a little bit with, you know, how he could bring tailoring into the collection and I think he realized that you can't leave the heritage behind and that we all, ultimately, what we all want from Gucci are those great friends. I have uh, two outfits. 
Fetwana is like a baby, bright baby blue dress. Really cool with a classic Gucci shape in here. The boots are sick. They're so tight and they go up, you know. We're very tall girls. So we don't really get to get the boots that are so tall that they even tall for us. Feathers on my shirt, shorts, his boots are amazing, amazing. And the color is really nice. The way he, my top is a beautiful color blue, my belt's purple, I've printed shorts. Yeah, it's really nice. I want them. <laughs> it's one of my favorites from Milan. Yeah, sassy, which I like. cream colors. I think traditional Gucci colors aren't that far away from that either. You know, at one point I was thinking about all these pastel fabric and thinking, well, how am I going to mix this up and, and all that, but it, it came very easily, you know. It, uh, it, it kind of happened by itself and fell into place by itself. Peter is an absolute genius. His collections are always amazing. Yeah, it's a really kind of old school bohemian look, but then also just so modern. It's incredible. It's really nice. He wanted to surprise again, you know? He surprises in many ways, and I think by bringing a very strong interpretation of Pucci, uh, of colors in the winter when there was no color in the summer, you know, it's a way of saying I can play with it and make it right anyhow. It's a soft pastel, very feminine, but at the same time, the cuts, everything is quite aggressive, but the way he plays with it, it's feminine. The whole ambiance keeps it on those limits that he knows how to play on very, very delicately, I would say. I do think Peter's the master these days of a very sexy dress. Peter knows what to give it and what not to give it. I love the idea of the way he translated the prints and even the summery feel of a Pucci print. He translated it in those pale pinks and sort of beigey flesh tone colors. That was smart. It was much more about the feeling of Pucci as opposed to a literal translation of Pucci. A dress, a black dress, with a kind of pearl all around, a little transparent, but not too much. So sexy, but not vulgar, basically. And I have a huge fur coat on top and beautiful, amazing boots also, that goes really high. It's extremely beautiful, I love it. Really sexy and beautiful, I like it. and it makes a statement, subtly. Lots of capes as well. I think it's a nice and different way of uh, doing the fur, for example, and, uh, and also an overgarment as well. It has like an immediate attitude. It's like really high, good, sexy and chic, elegant. Second outfit, I have a black fur cape on top of a black mini dress and black boots. Very sleek. It's actually a cocktail dress, to be precise, because it's a short one. It's like a corset, you know, with a beautiful bow on the back. It's really nice. When I was 
thinking about like how can I do the evening wear and I thought it would be fun to just have like little shorts uh, instead of it or t-shirts like the ones that opened the show as well as an alternative to the beat. It was really joyful, it was positive.